Hi, it's Katrina. Square Iceberg. A perfectly rectangular iceberg was recently spotted in the polar sea, and it was freaking people out. Pictures of the rectangular iceberg arrived online just a little while ago, and nobody could believe how smooth and perfectly even the rectangle is. It honestly looks like it was shaved by human hands to be perfect in every single way. It's flat, its edges even look like they've been chiseled, and it measures up to within inches of perfect symmetry. But how is this possible in the natural world, where things aren't really designed in straight lines? Kelly Brunt, a scientist from the University of Maryland working with NASA, explained that the rectangular iceberg is actually fairly common. She said there are two types of icebergs, the big mean ones that sink ships, and the other ones, tabular icebergs. Tabular icebergs are wide and flat, looking like a squished pancake made out of ice. These icebergs form when they grow too long and crack off the side of an ice shelf, kind of like if a fingernail grows too long and cracks at the end. Because of this, the sheet of ice breaks off from the shelf in an almost perfect rectangle or square. The scientists went on to say that 90% of it is still hidden underwater, and that 90% probably isn't quite as congruent as what's seen floating on the surface. Hibernated Tusk Monster Scientists at Harvard University have discovered evidence that there was once an animal that lived in Antarctica 250 million years ago during the early Triassic and had one of the best winter survival strategies in the world of animals. The creature was a distant relative of the modern mammal. It was a type of Lystrosaurus and it had a beak like a turtle and tusks like a warthog. At the time it lived, Antarctica was part of Pangaea but was still part of the Antarctic Circle and had very long periods without sunlight every winter. The animals that lived on the continent had to deal with going into total darkness for months at a time, so some of them found a way to hibernate. Fossils of a Lystrosaurus found in Antarctica have revealed that it may have been the first mammal-like creature to ever practice hibernation. Researchers looked at a fragmented piece of the animal's tusk. Inside the tusk, researchers found rings, just like how there are rings inside of a tree known as growth rings. But looking beyond the rings, researchers found indications that each year they fell into a hibernation-like state, probably conserving their energy and waiting out the brutal winter. This was revealed by stress markings, which researchers compared to the stress markings on the teeth of modern animals, which they develop around hibernation time. Scientists can't conclusively say whether this prehistoric beast really did snooze through the winter, but it probably did because it was one of the few creatures to survive the Permian period, which wiped out 70% of vertebrate species on land. It went on to live another 5 million years and spread across Pangaea. Entrance to Hollow Earth The Hollow Earth theory is a fan favorite. The idea is that the inside of the Earth is hollow and inhabited by an advanced race of people living within their own atmosphere, with their own animals and monsters, completely independent of the outside world. In other words, there is a world inside of our own, in the hollow core of the Earth. First of all, it's important to note that the Earth is not hollow. There is a core of dense and very hot iron and nickel. It's a scientific fact. Nonetheless, some people believe the Earth is one big kinder surprise and full of monsters, and some of these people say that the entrance to Hollow Earth is hidden on the continent of Antarctica. What's really interesting is that the theory has been around for a long time. It was taken seriously by scientists and politicians up until just recently, though that isn't saying much seeing as we were literally burning witches just a handful of years ago. If the entrance to Hollow Earth really is in Antarctica, nobody has found it yet, and seeing as we're talking about a giant wasteland of ice and snow, it probably won't be found anytime soon. The chances of finding the entrance to a secret inner Earth are about the same as falling off the edge of the ocean and into space. Secret Nazi Cloning Facility Near the end of the Second World War, sometime during 1943, the Nazis began moving to the South Pole to construct a base. The base was to be built at Lake Vostok, a massive glacial lake hidden beneath roughly two miles of solid ice. There was apparently a Grand Admiral named Karl Donitz, who was quoted as saying something along the lines of, Germany's submarine fleet created a fortress for the Fuhrer at the other side of the world in Antarctica. It's also said that in the German naval archives, there is a report from a German submarine that arrived at the South Pole in 1945, just as the war was ending. 
The crew members of the submarine dug an ice cave and stored boxes full of Third Reich relics, including Hitler's very own personal secret files. Things get weirder still. The final bizarre Nazi rumor is that the submarine U-977 arrived in Antarctica with the remains of both Adolf Hitler and his lover Eva Braun, so that scientists could use their DNA at a secret cloning facility to bring Hitler back to life. None of these rumors can be proved true. The only true thing about the Nazis in Antarctica is that in December of 1938, a German expedition tried to establish a whaling station, and maybe a naval base, but found that by the time they arrived in 1939, the area had already been claimed by Norway, and they left without building a single thing. Or did they? They didn't really follow the rules. The Ningen. There is a creature potentially living in Antarctica that you won't believe. It's a humanoid monster known as a Ningen, and apparently there are a few of them living in the icy waters of Antarctica. The Ningen is white in color, and some claim it's a species of ape that developed the ability to breathe underwater. Ningens have been spotted with mermaid-like tails and hind legs that allow them to scuttle across dry land. If you've never heard of this animal, you're not alone. It's not as famous as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot, but rumors of Ningens have existed in Japan for years, going back to Japanese fishing vessels that spotted the creatures around the waters of Antarctica. It's believed the Japanese have actually documented the existence of Ningens, though they weren't really brought to public attention until 2007, when they were discussed in a local paranormal magazine. They've been called Antarctic humans, and they've even been captured in pictures thanks to Google Maps. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, not all the pictures taken of the Ningen are credible. For that matter, sightings are few and far between, with people describing the creature as being a human-ape hybrid up to 90 feet long with the skin of a whale. That's obviously too large of a creature to be stomping around on the ice, and it's hard to imagine scientists not discovering a creature bigger than a blue whale swimming around. Secret Underground City In the 1960s, the U.S. was all about the polar regions, trying to establish permanent camps both in the Arctic and in Antarctica. They built a lot of secret hubs in both of these places. However, one of the weirdest is a place called Camp Century, located in the middle of nowhere in Greenland, just shy of the North Pole. Roughly 400 tons of machinery were transported to this underground Arctic city in the 60s. There were 21 tunnels carved out of the ice and fitted with corrugated steel roofs. There were staff living inside the facility throughout the year, and constant maintenance needed to be done to keep the base stabilized. And yes, it was exceptionally cold. Camp Sentry was apparently the first place to be powered by a portable nuclear reactor. The reactor worked for 33 months, keeping the camp's lights on using nuclear energy. However, the camp was abandoned in 1966 and was found wrecked beyond repair three years later thanks to the shifting polar ice. Today, there is not much left of this bizarre experiment except for frozen steel girders and pieces of pipe sticking out of the ice where the underground city once was. Oh yes, and the 47,000 gallons of radioactive waste slowly seeping into the ocean from the nuclear reactor. An ancient wall A mysterious ancient wall has been sighted in Antarctica. Thanks to Google Earth, people have spotted what seems to be a huge wall several miles long encased mostly in ice. Underneath the snow, there is what seems to be a human-made structure surrounding what may have once been some kind of city. It looks like a perimeter wall used in primitive cultures all over the world back when they used to make fortified walls around settlements. Since the wall is over two miles long, that would mean that if it really did surround a city once, that city was big. But it gets even more interesting. There also appears to be a pair of pyramid-shaped structures hovered in snow and ice. These pyramids have distinct sides sloping at roughly 45-degree angles. They also look to be roughly 80 to 90 feet tall. This suggests that beneath several feet of snow, there are the ruins of human-made pyramids and possibly even more structures. In fact, some have compared the shapes of the pyramids to the Babylonian ziggurat in ancient Sumer, what is now Iraq. But the ziggurat was built over 6,000 years ago. Could it be that the Babylonians somehow made it to Antarctica and built a walled city with pyramids? Unfortunately, there's no way to really know the truth until someone goes there with lidar or enough of the ice melts. Only then will we be able to see what's hiding underneath. The Antarctic Hellfish 
A horrifying new species of fish may have just been found in Antarctica by scientists who were attempting to explore the depths of the frozen continent. Expedition Antarctica was a mission to find the weirdest marine life on the planet, and it was 100% successful. Scientist Andrew Stewart was in charge of the mission, and with his help they found a whole heap of weird creatures living in the icy waters. One of the fish discovered was unlike anything scientists had seen before, looking like some kind of small fish from hell. It was pink, gooey, and very slimy with enormous eyes and a little tongue sticking out. Stewart says, that's why I came to Antarctica, to see things like this. At first, nobody could figure out what this Antarctic fish was. After a bit of research, they deemed it to be a type of snailfish, a creature that looks a lot like a tadpole and that only lives in the coldest parts of the Arctic and Antarctic oceans. They live about 2,100 feet beneath the surface. There are also about 400 different types of them with an unknown number still unidentified. As a side note, snailfish have been spotted deep inside the cavernous Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean as well, in the darkest and coldest waters. As for the creepy hellfish found by Andrew Stewart, it hasn't been confirmed as a new species yet, but it just might be soon. Would you go on an expedition to Antarctica and brave the cold? How about a cruise? Let me know in the comments below. Landed UFO There have been claims made recently that a UFO has crashed in Antarctica, and apparently there are images to prove it. Footage was posted online showing what appears to be a trail through the snow left by some kind of elongated object, looking like a long metal tube. The discovery was made using satellite images taken from Google Earth, with thousands of people immediately convinced that aliens landed in Antarctica. You know what scientists are going to say. Geology expert Richard Waller from Keele University says the trail was not left by a UFO but rather a rock that fell down the side of a mountain during an avalanche. But here we have two conflicting stories. The conspiracy theorists claim that the UFO hit the top of the mountain, causing it to collapse, before hitting the ground and skidding to a halt. On the other side, the professional scientist says it was a perfectly natural avalanche and that the elongated object is just a block of ice covered in snow that slid away from the rest of the debris. Dr. Richard Waller says the block of ice came from part of a hanging glacier that collapsed. This is just one of many UFOs believed to have crashed in Antarctica, and for the moment it remains an unidentified object until someone goes there to check. The Antarctic Sea Spider If you thought terrifying spiders only live in exotic places, think again. In the waters around Antarctica, there are giant sea spiders that will give you nightmares. These creepy eight-legged freaks are ocean arthropods that can reach the size of a dinner plate. These monsters are huge and kind of scary to some people. They also have a unique circulatory system unlike anything else on the planet. They pump blood using their guts. And if that's not already terrifying, just listen to how they feed. The giant Antarctic sea spider feeds using a proboscis, not unlike a mosquito. The sea spider sticks its proboscis into a soft animal and then sucks out the yummy juices. It basically siphons a creature's insides out with a big straw. The spider also has a pretty small body, meaning it doesn't have a lot of room for its guts and organs. All of its important parts are inside of its legs. The giant sea spider also doesn't have gills or lungs, but breathes by absorbing oxygen through its skin. As creepy as it is, the giant sea spider is one of Antarctica's cooler secrets. It's such a fascinating animal, and researchers only recently figured out how its biology works. They had to bring one to the lab and inject fluorescent dye into its heart, then watch where the dye went. That's how they learned all its gooey organs are stuffed into its leg. Thanks for watching! What do you think about these theories? Looks like we need to take a trip to Antarctica. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!